Kurt, wait. What? I need to tell you something. Come on, Malika. You know it's over. Listen, please. You need to know this. It's really important. Don't start, okay? Now's not a good time. We might not get another chance. Time to explain the assignment to you, so listen carefully. As you know, a week ago, Liam Quaid's squad was sent to the conflict zone with short notice without taking necessary precautions. We've lost contact with them and need to launch a rescue mission immediately. That's where we come in. The only thing we've got is a working radio beacon. We'll get airlifted to their possible location and hope for the best. At least we know who we're looking for. With our combined efforts, we should all make it back. Hopefully. Listen up. The beacon signal is coming from a small wooden structure. The map position is a green flickering dot. Kurt, sneak up to the shack. We're watching you. Move. Visual contact. Over. Visual contact confirmed. Radio silence. Over. for sure. Nor is it related to our assignment here. The only thing I know is you gotta get out of here right now. That is, if you have any time.
identified. Activate the transporter. It's your personal identification module. If your transporter's malfunctioning, call the authorization center for further instructions. Identification not received. The authorization center has not confirmed your transporter operation. Do not approach. Wait for ID response, or you will be fired upon.
This is Liam Quaid. Can't believe you survived. I mean, that explosion! My god! Liam, this is Kurt. Kurt Robinson. We came here to find you, but... Guys, I've got a connection with Kurt Robinson. They found my tracer. We're gonna get out of here after all. Liam, listen to me. It's not gonna happen. There were five of us. Now I'm pretty sure I'm the only one left. They're all dead. Turner, too. Found his radio. How many you got there? Three of us. Two weeks in hell. Unbelievable. Liam, we gotta get out of here. Too many of them. Go, go, go! Kurt, you found the transloader, so I have your coordinates. Proceed to your destination. We're moving on. Stuff's going on around here. Nothing covered in our training manuals, that's for sure. <laughs> 
You gotta outlast these stupid four-legged creatures. We got bigger fish to fry. Get to the village. There's an authorization center there. Be sure to activate your transloader, or island security won't recognize you. Over and out. <laughs>
approach the console to make connection with your transloader. Let's see. Scanning the base. Okay, let's start with the resource update system. Now let's authorize your DNA. Kurt, someone is intercepting your coordinates. Try not to destroy <laughs> We've established connection with General Dogstone. He is in charge of military operations here in the conflict zone. The bad news is that those creatures are breaking through the outer perimeter into your sector, and we don't have a way back anymore. General's location. You'll have to make your own way. You weren't authorized, so don't wait for security's help. <laughs>
Gaining access. Got it. You may proceed. Proceed along the wall until you reach the main gate to get inside the perimeter. Find the watch station. From there you can contact the general. He'll be waiting on the D116 frequency.
This is Sable One, can you hear me? This is Kurt Robinson. Kurt, affirmative. This is General Dogstone. Liam and his men are on their way here. He said that you're the sole survivor. That's right. So why don't you level with me, General? What the hell's going on here? Why am I shooting at crazed beasts just to survive? There's no easy answer, Kurt. I know what assignment you were sent on, but there are no rebels here. Copy that? No political conflict either. What we got here are genetically modified animals, which was set free. That's why I had to get you on this island. That was the plan. Me? What's so special about me? And what about the other guys that were killed? Misled by some phony mission. Was that part of the plan too? That wasn't supposed to happen. For crying out loud, Kurt, soldiers know the risks. Sacrifice for the good of all. Not nice, but it happens. I needed you here at all costs. Lovely welcoming committee you got here, General. How could anything like this exist? I can't believe it. Who would have thought? No time to think now, buddy. Just try to keep from getting killed and get your ass over here. Dogstone out.
Damn, those things managed to get to the main gate. Try to make your way through the wall.
Moorhead, what are you doing? Oh my god, it's a baby! A human baby! Hold on there, are you crazy? Have you forgotten why you, the science expert, were banished from England? I'll remind you. For experimenting with animals, Professor. That's what you're here for, damn it! I didn't bring you here to experiment on people! This has gone way too far! I'm taking him with me. Back to the mainland. People lose faith every day. Our hourglass counts the depths of our souls. Each grain just adds to the void. Each of them has to believe. It doesn't matter in what. You just have to believe. Their faith will change them. Only then the question about the meaning of life will emerge. Once I hear that, I'll know it hasn't all been in vain. Newly born creatures wanted to feel and believe. Everyone had to know why the new ones come and where the done go, to know that the sacrifice is worth it. They had faith and came to the sacred place they had made for themselves. Came to ask the Creator, not aloud, but in thought. We found their cages and are setting mines now to blow them to smithereens. from the cages. They're wired to blow. Is everything set? Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> Blown to smithereens! Now no one stands in your way. Hurry up. We're already at the transportation mainline.
Did you set up mines at the big dome? I don't see any damage. What? It should have blown big time. Nope, didn't happen. I'm going in. cut. Where's the detonator? We put the detonators behind the wall of the dam, right under the transportation mainline. Here's the coordinates. <sighs> this sucks. I couldn't isolate the wire. I checked it ten times. Damn. Don't sweat it. I'll handle it.
Liam and his men are already here. We had control over the entire area until an hour ago. Now we're in constant retreat from onslaughts by Moorhead's monsters. Moorhead promised to stop the attacks if you came here. That's his only demand. An hour ago I had to provide evidence that you're here, but couldn't. We still have some time before the monsters reappear. Kurt, you have to come on time. We're counting on you. not their sight. They consider you hostile, so you decide. Stealth or force.
Inside. It's a broadcasting center. I still have an online video connection with Moorhead. Let him see you. Get to the bottom floor. No, the aisle is blocked. Come this way. Oh. <laughs> 
Kurt, you're above us. Travel along the surface toward the broadcasting center. You can get into the TV tower from inside.
Moorhead, I've met your demand. Hmm, really? See for yourself. Kurt, my boy, you are with us again. You've certainly grown into a fine young man. I've been waiting for you. Time for your part of the bargain, Moorhead. Call off the beasts, calm them down, whatever it takes. We're tired of fighting. I started to have doubts about you. So naive and gullible. Well, you are human beings. Those ill-made beasts shouldn't live. The natural strength of their souls was eradicated by your quest for power. My discoveries and techniques are life-changing miracles, but all you did was make a hideous army. That's not why I came here. I wanted to create something beautiful. We can make this work. From now on, everything will be peaceful. No heroes, no villains, no more human vices or flaws. A new beginning, General, the way it was before. They will have purpose and faith. They will have God. The perfect creatures for the brand new world. That's why I needed you, Kurt, for what's inside of you. Now I know you've lost it. By creating these monsters, you're going against the very ways of God. <sighs> you still don't get it, do you? I am the God.
This is the only way out from here, Kurt. Go upstairs and open the gates. Liam and I will watch the car.
Kurt, we've been captured by the beasts. I didn't think they had the brains for it. They took us to the bunker. Lion is here. He's their leader. Kurt, the situation on the island is out of control. 
We have to leave this place. There's only one way. You're at the Rams Mountain Center. There should be a helicopter there. The guards use it to ship bulky loads. Try to reach it.
Chopper's history, General. Oh, God. Wait, hang on a minute. I've got another idea. This isn't what it's meant for, but we have no choice. You should see an antenna. It may be our last hope. It's on the roof. Come closer to the console. Turn it on and put your radio near the speaker.
chopper. Automatic control. Get out of the ram center. The chopper will land in the temple at the end of the road. <laughs>
General, I have to know. Why am I here? Why did Moorhead say I'm back home? You've been here before, Kurt. Years ago, when Moorhead first arrived, a schooner ran aground here one night. He found you washed up on shore. Then, I had to... well, I took you to the mainland. Time went on, and then... then it all started. The beginning of the end. Who are we? There are five fingers on our hands, but we're not human. 
We have skin and fangs, but we're not animals. Are we not faster? Are we not stronger? Are we not smarter? Isn't this our land? Then why do they rule, not us? I tried to stop them, to scare the beasts. I destroyed their village with the chopper, but it only made them frustrated and ruthless. I know it was Moorhead's doing. He created Lion and taught him how to speak. After that, I was ordered to bring you to the island. I had no choice. The chopper can make it down into the temple. It's our only way out of here. Oh, my God. 
They're trying to seize the chopper. It's on the temple's platform. I'll keep the engine running.
Run to the elevator, quickly. Switch off the alarm. The elevator is blocked. Got no weapons waiting for you on the surface. Maintain position. Kurt, get down! There's a flat area over there. We'll pick you up there. Sorry, Liam. You have to stay here. Huh? What's going on? For the last ten years, I've watched soldiers die here. Not from bullets, but from fangs and claws. It's horrible. You were also sent to the zone of political armed conflict. For what? To restore justice? For ten years, the cannon fodder has been brought here. We have to train. What if a war breaks out? Paltry humans. You have a penchant for self-destruction. So naive and gullible. To put it simply, You are human beings. You let the general go. Bring me to him. I believe we both want this. Am I right? Sorry about Liam, Kurt. I take it he was a friend of yours. <laughs> Not a good thing to lose. Try to understand. I've spent most of my life here on this island. No way am I gonna lose to the beasts.
and seen things too hard to explain to folks on the main. They'll call you crazy. Mighty plan you committed. See this land as a gift of destiny, Kurt, and calm down, as the rest of us did. You never know how your miserable life will end up. Everyone is fair game when it comes to war. There's nothing I can do to protect you.
last call. I'll try to sneak into the engine. into the third perimeter, I locked the route computer. My soldiers will drive the train directly to the central platform, and not a single beast will leave a car alive.
the route map database. It will reveal the train's route. <laughs> Sealed in here. Try to get to the roof. From there, you can get to the locomotive.
if you want to die like a hero in Apollo Lodge, it's an honorable way to kill a soldier. <laughs> Listen, Kurt! Are you still alive? Kurt! I'm all right. Where are you? I'm still in the car, stuck here. Will you help me? was wrong, but we have no choice. At least we're still alive. Let's go before we run out of air. <laughs>
it's high up here. I'll try to use the tub. Cover me. Watch the dragonflies. mask. <laughs> Go to the end of the corridor and turn on the ventilation. <laughs> I'll try to keep the door closed. <laughs>
in the cab opens the transport gate. Activate it and get down here. I blocked the door leading to the control panel so the wolves can't get to me. Go through the metal rolling line to get to the trolley. Sorry, it's the only way. Hurry up before they break the door down. I'll wait here. <laughs> I know Moorhead worked here on some special project. My new warriors will soon be here, and I'll have access to it. Then I'll find Moorhead and re-establish the order on the island. Pleasure to see a human face. 
You fit the professor's description. He said you'd come. I need your help. Follow me. They're here because of that thing. Two years of work. The professor was proud the of Panther. Smart, but not perfect. It's a shame she has to be destroyed. She shouldn't be turned over to the humans. They're too weak to keep her. platform has to be brought first. I'll open the gates below. Go, bring it here. Now, I'll open the biochamber gates. Activate the panther container. It'll move here by itself to the platform. Okay, lowering it now. Go upstairs to the generator while I attach the container to the platform.
It's all ready. Now, the most exciting part. Turn on the generator. Also a dangerous man. Everyone you meet dies. That's just wrong. You should feel real guilty right about now. Kurt, I just want peace for this land. Scientists should cooperate with me without needing so much persuasion. The only thing Moorhead is right about is that it's harder to work with humans.
chamber's thawing. This must be stopped. Follow me to the lower floor. <laughs> I'll redistribute the Freon flow. finish up here. all four filters at the end of each quarter. We'll win. Shaggy friend. Want to know where he is? He left you and went to his creator without even saying thank you. Help! Help! Ah! He's a monster! Shoot him!
City of Eternal Life. I completely share the professor's idea about ideal creatures for the brave new world. Pity that our views as to its implementation are different. bodies preserved a natural freedom of their souls. They could have stayed here forever, but their destiny is to restore a natural order in the universe.
Vanity and folly are the steps leading to the throne of this self-proclaimed king of nature. The laws of nature have been broken. Someone has to restore everything to where it belongs. Ugh! 
Young lady, for instance. Malika? We might not get another chance. You already met? That makes me happy. I wasn't wrong. Hush, Kurt. Don't worry. She's alive, safe and sound. Look, she's just sleeping. She needs rest. A new life is born inside her. So you see, I have something to tell you, and you must listen. But it's very personal, Kurt. Private. No one else can hear. Kurt, I know how it feels when you're betrayed by those who you believed in. The bright white line between the bad and the good first goes dim, and then vanishes. You've been used the way I've been. General! Thought I was dead, didn't you? Ha! No one really knows when or how one will die, do they? It's your turn now, General. Face death with dignity, as my brothers did. <laughs> Seventy-eight meters of water beneath us. There's a ship line down there. It already has the seeds of the brave new world, and it awaits a leader. Only one will be that leader. It's time to present a new arc to the world.
Don't be afraid to fall down, Kurt. It allows you to rise. You cannot rise without falling first. That's how you can know who you really are. The stairway of desires was too high for the general. My stairway is even higher, but I choose to stay on the lower steps. The wind is blowing hard upstairs, and the light is often too bright. your genotype, I thought I could get a perfect new man. I built this island for you. I felt you were my best creation. Watching you, I realized that no magic transformation occurred. One cannot deceive nature. Only regeneration brings a new quality. You stayed the same, so only a child may become the beginning of a new perfect society. Your child is that miracle, but are you really qualified to raise it? Nature is full of controversy. We have been awarded an eternal life. This is a change of generations. Everything has a beginning and an end. To stay in one's own time is the most important thing. This is the end of the road, Kurt. Let the newly born become the future. <laughs> 